Now let's take a look at investment risks. The first group of investment risks are uh, systematic risk. Systematic risk includes market risk, interest rate risk, reinvestment risk, and inflation risk. Inflation risk is purchasing power risk. Let's look at each of these in some detail. What's market risk? Let's say that I put money into uh, the ABC Corporation. Uh, ABC uh, is part of the S&P 500 index. Uh, shortly after I buy the stock, the stock market as a whole begins to fall in value. The S&P 500 as a whole begins to fall in value. My investment in the company is falling in value as well. Nothing wrong with the company. Company's doing fine. It's just that the market as a whole is falling, so my investment uh, is falling in value also. Market risk. Interest rate risk. Well, this is uh, market risk as it relates to uh, bonds. If interest rates go up, existing bond prices will go down. Interest rates go up, existing bond prices go down. What's reinvestment risk? This is the risk that when I get money back from investments, I will not be able to reinvest that money for the same rate of return for the same level of risk. The last systematic risk is inflation risk. This is known as purchasing power risk. Anytime I buy a fixed income product, I run inflation risk. Bonds pay fixed income, inflation risk. Preferred stock pays fixed income, inflation risk. Fixed annuities pay fixed income, inflation risk. Next, we're going to look at non-systematic risk. In this group, we're going to look at capital risk, business risk, financial, also known as credit risk or default risk. We're going to look at call risk, liquidity, regulatory, legislative, political, and a subgroup of political would be sovereign risk. Let's look at these in detail. Capital risk, real simple. This is the risk that if you invest, you lose your capital. Uh, that is capital risk. Business risk. Let's say that I put money into uh, a company. I invest in a, uh, a company uh, that is... Uh, uh, provides uh, products that consumers just love. Uh, this company has been innovative over the years. Uh, consumers love their products, uh, but there's been a change in management. And under the new leadership, you know, the company uh, is not quite as innovative as they have been. Their products have become stale, you know, have become somewhat dated. You know, consumers really don't like their, uh, their new products, so uh, they're not buying those products. Uh, this is business risk. My investment in this company uh, would more, more than likely uh, be going down in value. Financial risk or uh, credit or default risk. This has to do with bonds. This is the risk that if I buy a bond, if I buy a bond, uh, the bond issuer uh, cannot uh, meet their obligation. Call risk. This is the risk that if I buy a callable bond or callable preferred and interest rates fall, that my security will be retired, will be called in. Will be retired, will be called in. So I'll get my money back. Uh, I'll then have to go out and find another investment to put my money in, hoping to get the same rate of return for the same level of risk. That's reinvestment risk, which we looked at uh, just a few moments ago. So call risk and reinvestment risk really kind of go hand in hand. Liquidity risk. This is the risk that if I get ready to sell my investment, there's no one who's willing to buy the investment from me. Regulatory risk. This is the risk that uh, regulations could change, which would have a negative impact. Government regulation could change, having a negative impact on uh, a company, having a negative impact on an organization. Uh, maybe I have just bought into a oil company, and the EPA has just come down 
with a uh, new rule that's going to uh, cost oil companies billions of dollars. Well, I'm probably going to lose money on this deal. My, my stock price is going to go, probably go down in value. This is regulatory risk. What's legislative risk? Well, this is the risk that uh, laws uh, could be changed that could have a negative impact on my investments. You know, maybe uh, Congress changes the uh, capital gain tax, increases it. That could have a negative impact on the value of my investments. Political risk. Well, political risk, uh, depending on what party might be in power, that could uh, be good for the economy or bad for the economy. You know, political risk. Sovereign risk. This is the risk that a government cannot meet their financial obligation. A government has borrowed money and cannot meet their uh, financial obligation. Sovereign risk. 